Hey guys, Thunder E here. I am actually heading out and um, welcome to another video. This time we're doing three, two, one, go. All right, guys, we are here and we are heading out. And this is my uh, kind of long-term rugged use of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Recording the airport, front-facing camera, and we are flying out to Sony Camera Camp. I'm gonna see a lot of creators there. Should be fun. Boom. So anyway, uh, let's head to our gate. This is Sony Candle Camp, but I'm showing you YouTubers out in the wild doing this stuff. And I'm checking out the Sony A7 IV, the Alpha 7 IV, uh, with this lovely mic and uh, the new lens. This is the uh, G Master 24 to 70. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. But let's go find one of those YouTubers in the wild. We see one right there. That's Max right there. He's shooting some awesome stuff. And then. Oh, oh, JV's running away. He is. He is running away. Look at him, look at him go. Look at him. Okay, I'm trying to find a place to record, kind of a little bit quiet, not too noisy. I can put my camera down and get this video rolling. Yeah, you guys didn't expect to see me outside in the wilderness, right? Well, I'm in Sun Valley, Idaho with Sony. People are back there and filming content there. And uh, I'm here at Sony Kando. And uh, the whole idea of Sony Kando, just to give you a brief uh, ex explanation, is Sony invites a ton of creators and people who use Sony gear, so about 250 plus and uh, we get to shoot in this great environment. And I decided to bring, of course, my Galaxy Z Fold 4 to actually do some content capture here and also talk about my usage for a month. Now, I was gonna say I'm gonna get coffee because I'm trying to mimic the unlocker in his video style. And bro, this thing is difficult. How do you do it? But I also wanna, I wanna give, give him a shout out because you know, it's, it's hard to do what he does. Anyway, the Z Fold 4, is a interesting device to use on something like this. So Sony said, look, grab our gear, you can shoot out here and do what you want. And what they've done is also given us the opportunity to shoot in different locations. So we have content creators capturing models in different places, in cars, things like that. And I said, look, I'll do that with this device, the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And I was amazed to see the kind of content captured. It was really great. And honestly, you should just take a look at some of it yourself.
as I walk uphill here, you guys have seen how well it does in capturing content. I really like it. I really like that Samsung put a better sensor in this camera. But don't hear from me. Listen to the unlocker what he thinks about this device. I think they've refined the Fold 4 as they seem to keep doing. But I think they did a good job of refining it. I like that the outside especially is a little bit wider. It makes it a little easier to type on and use. I still wish it was a bit wider than that, but it's good. I think they've, they've, they've made enough changes where, I think they've made enough changes to if you can get a good deal on this phone, you should probably grab it. If you already have the Fold 3 though, probably skip it. Now, what do I like about the Z Fold 4? So what I like is one of the very first things that I experienced on my flight, right? I got on the flight, my TV wasn't working, so I popped this up. And the ability to open it up, use your device, is absolutely amazing watching content. It is probably the best smartphone or foldable device that allows for that kind of stuff. And it's truly great. Now, I have a Galaxy case that has a kickstand with it. And I think JV Tech T has a better case, which I'll check out. But I want you, to, you guys to hear from him because he brings a very interesting take to what this device actually does. The funny part about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is not much has changed on it, but I think I changed. I wasn't really into the big screen in my pocket thing, but now I am. I'm actually watching stuff on it, Korean dramas all day, but also multitasking. And I will admit that while the camera is pretty great with that upgrade, the one thing that I don't like about this phone is all the mounts that I've used with other phones don't work on this for obvious reasons. It's a big thing. So now you guys are probably thinking, Thunder E, you have decided to make this video all about all your YouTube friends just making, talking about this device. And yeah, kinda, it's easier for me, honestly, just what it is. But it does point out that a lot of them like how this device has turned out, especially me, because when I first got the device, I kind of looked at it in a different light. I said, well, it's a slight upgrade from the Galaxy Z Fold 3, uh, and if you're coming from that device, maybe not, but I'm changing my tune. Fold 4, honestly, one of the biggest things that I'll probably say that makes me excited about this is actually on the back. Not that the fact that it opens, but it's the fact that we have a better camera. A camera that I can actually work around and actually take with me, take pictures, B-roll, and I can edit on the phone closed or open, and of course, get all my work done and uploaded to Pi 2. So there's really very little that you're missing out on this. And now we have even slightly bigger viewfinding, well, view experience on the front display. Thank you, TK, for that insight. Now, you're gonna ask me this question. Hey, Thunder E, what about your day-to-day? -day? What about usage? So here's the thing. The S Pen, I don't use as much. I think it's strictly because it's not built into the device, but it's actually something that uh, you have to use externally. Now, the case I have does a much better job at doing that, but mm, I, I just don't do it. Now, I do like the feature and the ability to go ahead and, of course, use you know three, three apps at the same time. Samsung, I wish it was four, but it does a really good job in making sure I can multitask. And that's what I've used this device for, especially even on this trip, where I'm able to check my email. I don't have to go to my laptop to do work, especially because I'm outdoors. You know, I'm, I'm out here. You can see that mountain top over there. Uh, I'm in a valley. I'm doing work. I'm capturing content. I need to be able to do that quite effectively. Now, the device is bulky, and you're probably going to ask the next question. What about battery life? How's it been for you? So I'll put it this way. My buddy, Danny Wingett, you know him quite well. Uh, said this, we talked about the Z Fold 4 and we talked about battery life. And he was like, look, I get about eight hours of screen time on time, which I don't like to use that calculation. I would say for me, shooting content out here um, from 100%, recording 4K 60, capturing photos, uh, I lost maybe about you know 30% of just doing that constantly throughout the day. That is solid. That is really, really, really good. And I like that. You want to call it an iterative update. Way, you want to call it an iterative update, and that is true. But sometimes, if you iterate on the right things, that's a good call. Better cameras, a better hidden under display camera on the interior, and more durability. I call that a win. I don't know that that's going to be the long-term takeaway. My initial experience has been very positive. I expect that to continue. But then, I'm a foldy boy. So what does it mean capturing content on the Galaxy Z Fold 4? 
Well, it just simply means this. You've got a device that is versatile, it's flexible, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, I do wish the S Pen was built in, and I do wish that, you know, it was thinner. I do wish that it had those things, but I think the refinements you'll see from the three to the four make a lot of sense. Now, some of you ask, what about speakers? Speakers are great. They work really well. They sound just as good as the Z Fold 3 and one of the best speakers out there. If you're looking at, say, the wide angle lens, mm, not the best. Telephoto, it's really not that great, but you're gonna get a lot of great uh, content from this device, and I think a lot of people will like that. Now the front display, hmm, it is wider, it is a little bit better, but I think Samsung could do a better job. And I've got JV Tech T behind me capturing content. Big shout out to him for shooting all my B-roll on this. He's been great. JV, turn around. Oh. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> but anyway, big shout out to him. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and all the stuff here. And final thoughts, what do you think? Z Fold 4. Z Fold 4? Uh, I have fallen in love with it, which is weird, because we've basically had this phone already. So I changed. I actually like big screens all of a sudden. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, there you have it, guys. And apologize for this very weird video because this is a mishmash and Daniel's not editing it. We're going up in Heavenly. Oh. We're going up. Ooh, look at that. Lee. Oh, yeah. Lee. Look at that. And there's no snow. Lee. There's no snow to fall.